Hello, uh, I'm Luis. I'm working lamb. So there's all the, these are all the designs we have. But if you have any, if you want any kind of design or any color, we're able to do it because we work with uh, a lot of artisans. And these artisans, they work. They're very skilled. They're they usually work in El Alto, which is another city close to La Paz. And we work with them. So it's pretty. It's a family business, one, and then it's also work with the artisans. So we always work with them in their workshops which is in El Alto and as I told you we can we can prepare we can make any design you want it's, it's, it's up to you with the design and we respect everything you, you, you will wish in a, in a sweater or accessory uh, well uh, LAM has a best of experience with exportation because we did export to Mexico, Canada, some parts of Europe so we're able to we, we're used to work with uh, with a big quantities as well. Uh, what else can I say? Oh, we are here in La Paz more than 24 year, 25 years. So we grew from a one store to what we have so, which is 10 stores. And now we're working in a factory, a small factory, so we can actually uh, get all the, the the fiber of alpaca. So we buy the, the alpaca first from the from the people that take care of the alpacas and then we produce the the wool and once we have the wool in our factories we give them to the artisans and they get they take it they take them to the workshops and where do they work like uh do the artisans go to a factory no or? no no they work at home they have oh their, they work at they, home they wow. have their own machines at home so they don't have to they don't have to go to a big yeah. factory and they have to they have to work for some hours they just work at homes because we provide them wool and the colors and then we we they, they work over there and there's a lot of artisans and they all of them work at houses and they also work at families so brothers sisters fathers so it's like a built community around exactly. the company it's actually a community we build with the artisans because there's a lot of artisans and these artisans work with us and they produce our our accessories, sweaters, and it's almost all the family involved in the, with these artisans. So it's not only the father, it's the mother, the sister, the brother who works with us. It's, it's a community based on the alpaca. And it's totally fair trade. You pay exactly. the artisans. Exactly. Once they bring the product, you wake them and you see if the quality is exactly. alright. If not, you send them back. Exactly. Uh, once, uh, most of the artisans, we have worked with them for so many years, so they know, they know exactly what the quality we expect from them. So once they bring the, the products, they, they work on them, we, we, uh, we, do the, we do the quality test, and once it's, it's accepted, we, we, we pay the, what is a good uh, quantity to them, and then we sell them in the stores. Uh, we're actually working right now on the website as well because we want to, if we want to export into uh, many places, uh, I think we do have the the potential to do it because we actually design our own our own designs. For example, this is a lamb. This is a unique model. This is a unique model as well. So because we do have many years over here, we started with these designs, and then the competition start copying us. But as I can tell we do have the potential to, to grow better, be, to grow even more because we do, I do feel we have the quality for exportation and, and the history as well. And most importantly, uh, you're a family based company. Yeah. My dad started this business when he was in Mexico because he's, he started in Mexico. He's a civil engineer. Oh so wow. He started in Mexico and then he started uh, bringing stuff from Bolivia and then once he came here. He start. 
he started with one store, a little store in Sagarnaga, and from there we start growing. And I guess I still is a family-based run uh, business. Can we step outside so For they sure. can see where are we located right now? We're in, this, we're in the middle of the tourist area in La Paz. Very, very hippie, very, very artistical. Um, very crowded as well. A lot of backpackers, a lot of artisans everywhere. And lamb, you see, 100% alpaca made in Bolivia. It's located in one of the main streets here in Sigarnaga. So, it's on one of the main sites, very good position, and as Luis was telling you guys, it's really good quality, it's incredibly amazing what they've done. I've seen their designs, they're, whew, they're wow, I've, I've never seen so, so much quality in these products. I can show you later some of the other stores, what sort of products do they sell, so you can have a comparison between the alpaca products from Lamb and the alpaca products from the other stores. What else can you tell us, Luis? Uh, Shall we go inside? Yeah, sure. Come back. I told you uh, it's a family-run family run business, so we're still working hard on that. Uh, for example, uh, the fair trade with the artisans, because we do, we did create a whole community with uh, with the artisans, so that's how we're gonna keep it. Because if it helps the whole community, that's why that's what everybody wants, and we want that as well. Because we actually believe in the continuous development of our people, so that's what's happened. We grew from one store to a lot of stores. So now we do have engineers and everything. So, so yeah. I, I and of course, it must be sustainable. Of course, it's sustainable. Like you get all the products from. Exactly. We you do. don't you don't mistreat the animals. No, you... no, not at all. No, no, not at all. The the, the same uh, people shaped. Uh, how, uh, how do you say? Campesinos. I don't want. Oh, the farmers. The... Yeah, the farmers, the local farmers up in the. In the Bolivian Altiplano, they shave the, the wool of the alpaca, they don't do any harm to the alpaca. Once it's shaved, they bring it to us and our factory, we made it from there to, to, to what is a, a wool. Once we have the wool, and for example, in the factory we're creating right now, which is an hour from this street, we're making that it's going to be pretty green because we're going to recycle the water in our, in our, in our uh, big washing machine. It's a huge washing machine. And then we're also gonna use uh, natural oils for the for the washer, and we're gonna keep it as green because that's that's the product we want to 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 sell to our customers who also want to get the continuous development of the company and to also be as green. That's what we we really want. That's why we 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 work with uh, natural natural dyers, for example. We try not to use acids. Uh, then we're gonna recycle the water. We in the future we're gonna start using uh, sun energy because the energy it, it, it consumes a lot. So we're gonna try to change that way in order to to keep it green. And Absolutely. once the wool is pr uh, is processed and we do have the wheel or the wool and the colors we want, we give them to them to the community of artisans we do have in El Alto. And most, it's a lot of artisans they work and when it's over they come back over here. We, we we check the quality and once everything is okay, we do the business, the fair sure. trade business. Absolutely. Can you tell us about the prices? How much would it cost me to buy, let's say, this it this depends. sweater? For example, these these type of sweaters, because of the model, it gets harder to do it. Okay. So, so the art, so the for example, the the, the worker, the the artisan, they spend most of the time trying to do this because it's harder. We don't do have big machines. We we only work with with little machines, different machines. So a lot of people can do it. So for example, this takes a lot of time to do it. So it's a little more pricey. How much is this? Con el todo todo. This is 490 Bolivians, which would be roughly like how much it doesn't. Let me. Sorry about that. No worries. It will be seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. That's our most expensive. But that's the most expensive. Yeah. So you get okay. For example, these these are 
easier to do because they follow a pattern. Okay. So for us, it's simpler to do this. And how much is this? Okay, and this is fifty nine dollars. But fifty nine dollars. Okay. These are the store prices. Right. Obviously, we do manage another type of prices when we export or, or the quantity we we're gonna sell. But these are the store sales. But for example, these are two ninety nine Bolivians, which is roughly two. 40, 40 bucks approximately. 40, 40 dollars. Yep. But we do have many, many types of different models and um, yeah. And those are seventy-seven dollars, right? Yep. These are seven. These are handmade. Handmade. So this is no machine. This is handmade. That's why it's also kind of. And the the design, the pattern it has, it's difficult to do. That's why this is seventy bucks. This, which is might be the the like most expensive item in store. And you said you can do any design. Any design, any color you want, because uh, because it's not a big machine, so we can just talk to our, the artisans and say maybe change this into this, and they'll they'll be able to do it. Because they'll be able to do it. Any model, any any type you want, or any color you might want to add, or anything you might. You, we're, we're able to do it because we do work really close with our artisans. Fantastic. Um, for example, this is a okay. design we made, which is a three-way design. Oh. It's a poncho. Oh, it's a poncho. Yeah. It has three different ways to use it. Can Can you show for me sure. how to wear it, please? She's going to show us how to use it. Oh, fantastic. It's a three-use three, three use poncho. So you can wear this poncho in the in three different ways. Exactly. This is one way. Okay, that looks very fancy, very chic. This is one way. One way. This is the other because it has a. But that's the second way. And the last one and third one. Wow. Right. And sometimes the fourth. Oh, you can wear it as a scarf. Fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. Gracias. Perfect. So let's talk about the production. Sure. They were hoping, I mean, like they hope to get at least 500 pullovers per month. Yeah, we're, we're, we're able to produce that quantity every month because, uh, as I told you, I, we do work with a lot of artisans and we do have the experience and the history of, to, of exports of these garments into other places like Canada, Mexico, we did have, we did open our stores in Mexico and Mexico was good uh, until, well, the, the monetary crisis, but uh, we do have experience to export a lot of items right now on the quantity. are you are you ex are you exporting anything right now we did export last last week to chile right oh to chile we did actually had a big quantity last week to chile and that's how we work we get uh, customers they wanted some models and we were able to provide even more than 500 sweaters what would you month. say about the com i mean like if you had to compare the quality of peruvian alpaca or bolivian alpaca how would you describe it? How, how, which one's better? What I feel about Peru is that our, our garments, our sweaters, so you can tell, is way more authentic. It's way, way more authentic and it's way more real. It's not as retail as Peru got. Peru is producing tons and tons of regular sweaters, but it's, they probably lost the fair trade because those are big machines, so there's no workers, first of all. And then they don't have, they, they, they kind of westernize it. So instead of creating their own, their own identity, they, are, every time it's westernizing more and more. So for, as you can tell, we keep it real authentic Bolivian. These models, the Chulu, we try to keep it as authentic as we can. And, and you know only do of the uh, jumpers, the sweaters, we you do also do scarves, scarves, you do hats, you do capes, capes. hats, every, every kind of different, of, for example, scarf, do you want any kind of, we do have, we call this the chain style, 
this for example a snakes a snake style we do this is the classic one color regular and these are 100 percent alpaca baby alpaca so this the quality is pretty good and it's pretty made good. in bolivia 100 100 percent everything is made since so the even the the fiber the alpaca fiber once it's shaped till this everything everything is made 100 percent in bolivia and yeah it, we, we keep it pretty pretty authentic that's why a lot of people copy our models you can and it's such model. a beautiful store congratulations thank you you have so many models it's amazing i mean like so many models that's for the meal in all sizes that's amazing that's really good with all color sizes these are handmade you can wow see those the are amazing those are handmade so you can tell how different it is because the wow. thickness as well wow well, that's gorgeous yeah and for, for me for example the product that i i, I like the most mm -hmm. will be the ruanas the ruanas sobre a, las bordadas. oh those, wow those are for me most wow those so are yeah beautiful We call this the sun and moon design. The sun and moon design. Sun and moon design. Blue sun and moon design. Very classy, beautiful. Fantastic. Very good, thank you. All right, Luis, so I think we had it out for today. We're Tell us what we're going to be doing tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon we're going to go, uh, I'm, I'm in charge of the production, which is the un in industry part. So I'm working into a, in this new, brand new factory of wool, which as I uh, told Sergio, we're going to try to keep it as green as possible. And tomorrow we're going to go visit that, which we also do have some alpacas as, as pets because they're really domesticated and they they're like dogs and they love it over there so there we'll see how you yep. process the wool exactly. and how you are oh, fantastic we're gonna go see the how how is it made how how the wool is made because it has so many machines and there's a they, they have to follow up a lot of production parts in order to complete the, the wool so tomorrow we're gonna go visit the, this, this factory and probably soon we're gonna go visit the artisans as well fantastic that go, sounds amazing because this, yeah it's different because one is in the south and the other one is in the north so La Paz is kind of weird in it's that. it's a weird yeah. you'll you'll see it when when you guys yeah. get here correct thank you so much Luis. it's welcome. been a pleasure thank nice you for everything you. uh welcome. love your store thank uh you. thank you so much for everything there is something you would like to tell our, uh, our friends in France right now. Nothing. I guess I can I can say thank you very much for visiting us. Uh, we can work with a, any type, any design. As I told you, we try to keep it as green and fair trade as possible. That's how, that's our strong, and we're happy to to help you if you have any any question or any consultation. Just free get, uh, get just write me. I'm just gonna send my mail and everything my number so if you just want to contact me and question and ask me any question please free to do it and you'll send them a catalog exactly. as well i'm gonna yep. send this week as well a digital catalog we're from a, a really basic one with the prices and the then the act because we do have two different ones which is the sweaters and the access, accessories because we do have a lot of accessories but i'm gonna send you them both and you can compare them over there with the prices and and as I told you any any question just feel free to ask I'll be there I will always available always thank you so much Liz you're very welcome see you tomorrow see you tomorrow